Hi guys and welcome to the second half of the Bison Review, the history half. Here we take you through what the gun is in real life, if we've seen it in any previous CODs, and then finish off with our thoughts on the weapon, so let's break into the history. The PP-19 Bison is a Russian weapon produced from 1996 to the present day by arms manufacturer Izmash. Interestingly, both sons of the AK-47 and SVD weapon projects were involved in the design of the Bison. The Bison was designed at a request from the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs, or MVD, and was primarily intended to be used as a counter-terrorist and law enforcement weapon. There have been three major variants of the PP-19 Bison. The Bison-1 is the variant already discussed, and fires the Russian standard Makarov pistol cartridge, the 9x18mm. However, the gun can also fire the newer high-impulse armour-piercing 57-N-181 SM cartridge. The Bison-2 is slightly changed from the original, with newer AK-style iron sights and a flash hider for easier attachment of muzzle attachments. The Bison-3 has also been developed and is in testing, coming with all the features of the Bison-2, however the weapon's barrel has an adapter which allows it to fit a variety of optics. The version in-game we are most likely seeing is the Bison-2, due to the iron sights being slightly reminiscent of the AK-47 from previous CODs, and the fact that the Bison in-game can accept muzzle attachments. Speaking of previous CODs, a few old school gamers will remember the Bison from a previous COD game, even though it was under a different name. The Bison was previously in Modern Warfare 3 using the name the PB90M1. Compared between the two games, the guns are actually fairly similar, as both had large fire rates, with big magazines and fair ease of use. Now that the history is out of the way, what do we think of the weapon? I personally thought it had very good strengths and very poor weaknesses in game. The fire rate is the gun's strongest asset for me, as being able to put that much lead onto target in that short a time is amazing. <laughs> However, I did not enjoy the fact that once you got out of a range of about 15 meters, you couldn't hit anything at all, as both the recoil was too much and the damage was terrible. I know it's a submachine gun and it's performing as a submachine gun should, but I still found it annoying that the gun has to fill such a niche role in Ghosts. I personally think the Bison is a typical submachine gun, with a high fire rate and good mag size. Instead of precision and accuracy, it is more of a hosing weapon, just getting as much lead onto target as quickly as possible. The basic weapon with no attachments is very difficult to use for me, as the recoil is huge and the irons aren't that great, but with certain attachments it becomes a very adaptable weapon. Well thanks for watching guys and we hope you'll join us next time, when we'll be covering the first light machine gun, the Amelie. This is a shout out to you here Alex. Forfeit the game before somebody else takes you out of the frame And put your name to shame, cover up your face You can't run the race, the pace is too fast, it just won't last
you think you're now?